Good morning. Welcome to Frontier Lab Southeast Asia and India YouTube channel. Frontier Laboratories is a Japanese organization that offers an innovative multi shot pyrolyzer, which is developed based on micro furnace technology. Pyrolysis, in combination with gas chromatography mass spectrometry, has been widely used for material characterization in different industries. We plan to upload a series of short video tutorials for our viewers and users to learn about analytical pyrolysis as a concept and its application in different industries. I am Kartikeyan Sadrubhanan, a business development manager at Frontier Laboratories to support our business in Southeast Asia and India. In today's session, we will learn about analytical pyrolysis concept. First, let us understand what is pyrolysis. Pyrolysis is a Greek word. Pyro means fire and lysis means separating. That means pyrolysis refers to thermal cracking. Pyrolysis is a process where organic material is heated at elevated temperature in an inert atmosphere which leads to thermal decomposition of macromolecules into smaller stable molecules. Pyrolysis involves a change of chemical composition. Pyrolysis is mostly used in the treatment of organic materials or characterization of organic materials. This can be natural or synthetic. We will be focusing on characterization aspect in this video and our future video tutorials. Most of you must be familiar with combustion. In combustion, the heat energy is applied to organic material in presence of air or oxygen. That leads to complete mineralization to produce carbon dioxide. In this, it is important to ensure that the carbon dioxide is properly managed to avoid any global warming issues. On the other hand, in pyrolysis, the heat energy is applied to the organic matter in the absence of air or oxygen that help to produce some valuable products like char bio oil or same gas which can be depending upon the type of pyrolysis condition we employ within pyrolysis domain there are two areas where a lot of research and development are happening one is applied pyrolysis the other one is analytical pyrolysis in applied pyrolysis pyrolysis is used as a process to produce some valuable product from a feedstock or biomass or even waste materials. These products can be further enhanced by a catalytic process to produce some specialty chemicals. We will be talking about applied pyrolysis and related application in different tutorial. In today's video, we will be focusing on analytical pyrolysis. What is analytical pyrolysis? In analytical pyrolysis, we use pyrolysis process to characterize a material. It can be used even to optimize a pyrolysis or catalytic pyrolysis process. What does it mean? You take a piece of sample in a micro furnace, which is set at high temperature. When the sample is exposed to high temperature, compound break down into smaller molecules which can be like collected from the outlet with the help of the carrier gas and introduced into different instrumentation like FTI or MS or DCMS which will allow you to characterize the products which can help us to identify the nature of material that we want to characterize. In analytical pyrolysis, 
the pyrolytic process is carried out in a pyrolyzer which is interfaced with analytical instrumentation such as GC or GCMS or FTAR or GCFTAR. We will be focusing more towards the hyphenation of pyrolysis with GCMS. If you are working in a laboratory and using GC for other application, it is easy to understand the analytical pyrolysis concept. You can see that a micro furnace can be installed at the inlet of the GC, front or back. Which means we can see that analytical pyrolysis is a technique in which sample is thermally treated in a controlled environment, the gases evolved or released from the material are introduced into the GC column for separation and detected by a suitable detector like mass spectrometry. In other words, the pyrolyzer or the pyrolysis can be seen as a simple sample introduction system for GCMS application where one can analyze a solid or liquid sample without any detailed sample preparation. Let us look into the details further. So if you want to characterize a polymeric material like rubber sheet or plastic block, you take a piece of sample in the range of 0 0.1 to 1 milligram and transfer it to a sample cup. This sample cup can be transferred to the micro furnace. So when you transfer, it is kept at the holding position, waiting position, where the temperature is less than 40. So when you want to start the analysis, this cup is dropped into the hot zone where the temperature is high. So what happens? The sample exposed to the high temperature leads to decomposition that will lead to release additives or the breakdown compounds of the polymer and they are being split into the GC column with the help of helium. Then they are, they are being separated in the GC column depending upon its partition coefficient and finally these compounds are reaching the detector one by one which leads to form a nice chromatogram to tell us the nature of compounds present in this material. This is a typical pyrogram obtained for some sort of different phthalates in a plastic material. So one can understand the analytical pyrolysis is a technique where we are able to analyze a high molecular weight solid material directly without any sample preparation and this is used for knowing the composition of the unknown material or structural elucidation or even for degradation mechanism. Analytical pyrolysis and PYGCMS is widely used for different applications in different industries. The list can be very exhaustive but we try to provide certain type of application which are most commonly used. People use PYGCMS for identification of the nature of unknown material, study of archaeological and cultural material, identification of specific microorganisms, even in forensic application. To analyze different types of cellulosic, cellulosic materials, in particular type of paper and wood. Study of various material made from natural polymers such as lacquers, varnishes, coatings, adhesive, as well as many composite material. This is the most commonly used application in museum research. Evolution of chemistry of bioprocessing with the purpose of bio generation, biofuel generation. An evaluation of toxicants, toxic gases generated by biomass in incinerators. Study of synthesis of some specific compounds of interest from natural polymers. 
study of natural polymers used as a fuel source, analysis of soil compounds for organic matter or chemic uh, acids or other volatile organic compounds in the soil or sediment, studies related to burning of waste sludges and the potential toxicants generated in this process which may be related to environmental or health issues. Understand the rate of degradation of different organic polymers under the influence of heat in presence of or excuse me sorry, with and without air. Photo degradation or post UV flash pyrolysis. The analytical pyrolysis particularly the PYGCMS is used for characterization of polymer in QC laboratory to look at the type of polymer and additives. Then for evaluation of polymeric material that is used for fractional application and characterization of recycling uh, like polymeric material or the biomass utilization, organic geochemistry or soil chemistry, chemical science, biochemistry, microbiology, coal liquefaction, forensic science, food science, PACO or smoke toxicology, even in extraterrestrial science and environmental science. So we will be talking about different applications for different field at our later stage. So I just want to explain how Analytical pyrolysis, particularly the pyrolysis GCMS, is used in the industry. Most common application is analysis of polymer in a polymeric material or plastic or resin or paint or coatings. Here, and we demonstrate an example of a resin sample where the customer is interested to analyze the sample to know the presence of different type of polymer. So in pyrolysis, it will produce the monomer for corresponding polymer. So based on the monomer presence, one can identify the type of polymer present in the resin. So this particular sample shows the presence of methyl acrylate and methyl acrylic acid and styrene hydroxyethyl methacrylate, styrene dimer and styrene trimer. So these are the different uh, monomers for these polymers, polymethyl methyl acrylate, polyhydroxyethyl methacrylate and polystyrene. The second most common application is determination of additives. Here we show the application of black rubber where the presence of different additives are critical in rubber performance. The range of additives present in the rubber can be analyzed by the thermal desorption approach. And this particular rubber sample shows the presence of vulcanizing agent, anti-degradant, and antioxidant and plasticizer. So these are the two most common applications that is use in the industry with pyrolysis GC, GCMS. So what's the takeaway message from today's video? Analytical pyrolysis is a technique in which a pyrolysis either fast or slow heating is used as a process to treat the sample and analyze the gases evolved from the testing sample. Analytical pyrolysis is a hyphenated technique. That means you employ two different techniques. One is pyrolysis to treat the sample and a suitable analytical technique to analyze the sample. It is widely used in many industries, mostly for the analysis of polymers and additives. We will share about different applications at a later stage. In our next video, we will talk about gas chromatography with some short introduction on the basic principle and the peripherals.
then we will continue on different other topics in the future videos thank you for your attention if you have any question or if something is not clear to you from this video do not hesitate to contact us through this email or visit our website for more details thank you